Good day everyone. Our topic for today is about on how to choose the correct statistical test and how to tell the correct test has been used. Okay? So this will be the guide in choosing your statistical tools. So statistical tests are used in hypothesis testing. They can be used to determine whether a predictor variable has a statistically significant relationship with an outcome variable. Estimate the difference between two or more groups. And statistical tests assume a null hypothesis of no relationship or no difference between groups. Then they determine whether the observed data fall outside of the range of the values predicted by the null hypothesis. Now, independent versus dependent variables. Experiments are usually designed to find out what effect one variable has what on another. In our example, the effect of salt addition on plant growth. You manipulate the independent variables, the one you think might be the cause, and then measure the dependent variable, the one you think might be the effect, to find out what this effect might be. You will probably also have variables that you hold constant control variable, variables in order to focus on your experimental treatment. The types of the variable, as I mentioned with, the, with independent variable, the variable what we, uh, that we manipulate as researchers such as sex if measuring difference between gender. Dependent variable, the outcome we measure, for example, pretest exams result. So as what we have here, we have independent versus uh, dependent versus control variable. So we have the types of variable, the definition, and the example. Now, types of data. In statistics, there are four data measurements actually. Scales, no? nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. So, these are simply ways to subcategorize different types of data. So, the four data measurement scale, of course, we have nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio are best understood with different examples. So, as what we have here, for nominal or categorical, data that fits in the categories with no order. So, for example, as sex, na. For ordinal, categories that have an order, like Likert scales. Na? So, example is uh, 1, very happy, or a very unhappy. 2 is unhappy, 1 is okay, 4 is happy, 5 is very happy. Uh, this will be an example of an ordinal uh, using Likert scales. So, for example, if the question is, how do you feel today? For, for example, if the question is, how, how satisfied are you with our service? One, very unsatisfied. Two, somewhat unsatisfied. Three, neutral. Four, somewhat satisfied. Five, very satisfied. This is also an example of a, an ordinal. So, as I mentioned, like our scales. Interval, it must be the difference no, between points is equal with no zero points. So, for example, temperature. So, interval scales are numeric scales in which we know both the order and the exact difference between the values. So, as I mentioned, the example of an interval scale is Celsius temperature because the difference between each value is the same. So, for example, the difference between 60 and 50 degrees is measurable 10 degrees as it the difference between 80 and 70 degrees. Interval scales are nice because the realm of statistical analysis on these data sets opens up. So, for example, central tendency can be measured by mode, median, or mean. Standard deviation can also be calculated. The ratio scales are the ultimate nirvana when it comes to data measurement scales because they tell us about the order. They tell us the exact value between units and they also have an absolute zero which allows for a wide range of both descriptive and inferential statistics to be applied. At the risk of repeating myself, everything above about it, interval data applies to ratio scales plus ratio scales have a clear definition of zero. And good example of ratio variables include height, weight, and duration. 
So as above but double the value mean twice as much and zero means absence of the value. So as I mentioned, another example, height and most continuous outcome. Uh, we need to remember that nominal variables are used to name or label a series of values. Ordinal scales provide good information about the order of choices, such as in customer satisfaction survey. Interval scales give us the order of values plus the ability to quantify the difference between each one. And finally, ratio scales give us the ultimate order, interval values, plus the ability to calculate ratio since a true zero can be defined. So as what we have here, we need to distinguish no, types of dependent variables. So for example, if we define that uh, the dependent variable is nominal or ordinal, we may proceed to type of independent variable. Uh, just an internal or interval or ratio or nominal ordinal. So, if it is uh, nominal and ordinal, we can use chi-square of Fisher's exact. But if it is internal or ratio, then we use logistic regression. We need to take note that the chi-square or the chi-square test used to measure differences between categorical data, like 2 by 2 tables, for example then the chi-squared test does not work well with expected frequency of less than 5 in any cell. Uh, it is so easier to use Fisher's exact instead. Logistic reg regression is more advanced and beyond the scope of this podcast sec advice before use. This time, the type of questions. So, for example... Uh, you identify first the type of dependent variable. For example, if it is interval or ratio. So therefore, we may proceed to ask what type of questions, uh, what type of research question. Then when it comes to type of question, we need to consider if it is an association or differences. We need to take note that this is related to our hypothesis. No? Are you wanting to know that the group are different from each other? So the differences I mentioned. For example, do pretest score differs between males and females? So, therefore, you have two tables. The, the, the first one is the male and the second one is the female. As you wanted to know if one variable is related to another, that is association. It is duration of sleep associated with pretest score. Now, how about if after identifying the dependent variable, you identify that it's an interval or ratio, then type of research question, you, you, you determine that it's an association. Then associations or this time you are going to look for it is an association or a causation. So, for example, if that is association, uh, we need to know the person moment correlation or is per month or per non-parametric. Now, which correlation to use? To know this, as with all statistical tests, we need to test the assumptions of the parametric test using person-product moment correlation. Number one, both variables we are testing are normally distributed. So histogram, normality test, or QQ plots. Linear relationship, scatter plot, interval and ratio data. If one and three violated the U, then use is per month. So it means to say that if it is not uh, agreeable by number one, so therefore use is per month. If it is violated number three, use is per month. Okay, but if not, as what we have here, correlation use, persons, moment correlation, or is per month as I mentioned. How about if the the this is a causation. So, uh, this time we are going to use linear or multiple regression. Now, use regression when the relation is casual. Okay? For example, using height predictor to predict PFRFR. Okay? Outcomes, it, it would be ludicrous to use PFR 
to predict height as height causes PARF, not the other way around. Regression has many assumptions beyond the scope of these discussions. So, type of dependent, we have again, a, 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 of course, nominal or ordinal, but we are now in the interval in ratio. The, after, uh, after defining, no, after knowing the type of question, either association or differences, but if our uh, variables is focused on the differences, so number of group continued on the next slide, okay? So this one. So, number of groups, do you have two or more than two? So, it means to say that if you have two groups, are groups independent or repeated? If more than two, are groups independent or repeated? Now, so relationship between groups. Independent, okay, groups are different participants, male versus female. But repeated measurements taken on the same participant at different points in time. For example, pre-test, eh, pre-exercise uh, pre test, and post-exercise scores. So, for example, you, ha you, you have a group independent or repeated for two. Okay? And uh, this time, that is independent, for example. So, what you're going to use? Independent T-test or man with you for non-parametric. So, independent groups, we need to know whether we can use parametric independent T-test or non-parametric man with you. So, it means to say that uh, if the number of groups are two and you are, uh, and that is an independent variable, you are, you are allowed to use independent T-test for parametric and man with me you for non-parametric assumptions of parametric test take note interval or ratio data both groups normally distributed histogram normality test and q to q plots homogeneity of variance or lavin's tests how about if is repeated that's what we have here Re Repeated measures, we need to know whether we can use parametric. So, this time, if that is uh, repeated, no, uh, for parametric, we use paired sample tests. For non-parametric, we use Wilcoxon, Wilcoxon sign rank test. No? Assumptions of parametric test, interval uh, or ratio data, it must be, of course, and the difference between groups are normally distributed either pre score to post score how about if more than two more than two groups so or multiple groups so identify if it is independent then uh, if it is independent identify if it is two or more or it's just only one okay for example you identify already the number of groups as more than two then, are, are groups independent or repeated? If we use independent, you ask number of independent variables. If your dependent variables, independent variables is two or more, use factorial ANOVA. But if you have one no, dependent variable, use one-way ANOVA or cross-cal-wallis for non-parametric. Now, Multiple, for multiple groups, we need to know whether we can use parametric. Again, one-way ANOVA or non-parametric cross-cal-wallis. Assumption of parametric test, interval and ratio data, of course. Both groups normally distributed as what we did earlier. And at the same time, homogeneity of variance or Levin's test. Same if 1 and 3 violated, of course, Same as what we have earlier. Now, how about if we identify the number of groups are more than two, then the groups are repeated. So, therefore, what we're going to use? The ANOVA or repeated measures ANOVA or Pridemans ANOVA for non-parametric. 
So again, this means testing three repeated measurement on the two groups or two measures on the three different groups. Use either parametric, repeated measures ano ba, or non-parametric Friedman tests. No? So assumption, interval or ratio data, normal distribution, sphericity or tested using Mouchley test. So this will be the summary. So selecting the correct statistical test is not a mysterious process. It is logical. Take note of it. So we have a, actually a sequence uh, and some questions to answer for us to identify what is specific statistical test na, uh, that we could apply with our research. Analogous to using clinical guidelines to guide patient treatment. If you want to perform this test on SPSS, we recommend and skill discovering statistic using SPSS as a great introductory text. So this will be my references, of course. Thank you very much. Uh, and to all of you, thank you. And I hope I shared uh, something uh, for today. God bless everyone. Enjoy learning.